morning. My name is Conrad, they say guide. Join me today again. We're gonna go for a little ride. We're gonna go to the Fredefort Dome today. It's about 155 kilometers from Pretoria and around 10 kilometers uh, from the very state town of Paris. Uh, the Fredefort Dome is a uh, meteor impact site which happened about 2,000 million years ago. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to meet some friends there and we're gonna ride around and explore the area. So hey, welcome, uh, please enjoy. And uh, yeah, watch the video. <laughs> Guys in the Free State. It's uh, South Africa's version of uh, Paris. Uh, also, quite a bit of a uh, farming community here. This so started off uh, when they uh, built a church here for the communal farmers to come and congregate. Uh, the idea is that we're going to ride next to the Bal River a bit today. We'll see what the roads looks like. It's been raining quite a lot. Uh, we'll drive slowly. You can see all the trees in the water. Over here I see it's actually the provincial border between Here we just stopped so I could show them how from the crater impact the earth's crust has uh, turned up and uh, now are looking like uh, plates stacked in a dishwasher. The Freireford Meteor Impact Crater is the largest and oldest visible impact crater in the world. It has a diameter of about 300 kilometers and it was approximately 10 kilometers wide rock that led to the preservation of the gold bearing reefs of the Free State some 2000 million years ago. The Freerefort Dome is South Africa's seventh world heritage site. Although the crater itself has long since been eroded away, the remaining geological structures and its center are known as a Fredefort Dome or Fredefort Impact Structure. In 2019, scientists from the University of the Free State discovered 8,000 year old carvings made by the Khoisan people. I can see in my mirror, but I'm being followed by two Hondas. Hot pursuit. What an awesome place to be riding today. It's so beautiful. I really not believe that this road is actually pretty good. Right next to the Wall River. Between the Free Report Dome. We're coming to the Pinter's Kroon.
Это трейл Инфосентер in At the end of the day, we arrived at our camp at Mount Zion Resort. It is situated right on the Val River with beautiful views. The ablution facilities are basic but clean. There's light and power points around the camp and plenty of grass to pitch our tents. The Val River is 458 kilometers long and it was established in the main source of water for the Great Witwatersrand area after the gold rush era of the 1840s. Val is an Afrikaans name meaning pale which refers to the color of the waters, especially noticeable during the flood season when the river is filled with drifting salt. Yeah, just like that, we come to the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed following us around the Frieda Ford Dome and Paris. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to get notified when I upload some more videos. Also, if you like, you can subscribe to our My Bike channel where me and Frank did a review of the Mount Zion campsite and resort. Thank you for watching. See you next time.